I was here. I just like listening to the intro. <laughs> oh, it's a bit close, isn't it? Cool. Let's see if we can move that back a bit. That's a bit better. Looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? But that's, uh... That there. <coughs> So, hello to everybody. Oh, I haven't gone on to me. I was just in the process of clearing even more debt. So if you hear this go, ping, 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 that's another debt, that's another debt, that's another debt. I've just done another thousand pounds worth. Get in. <sighs> so, where are we? YouTube. YouTube. And go on to live. There we go. I do look like I did when I'm doing this. Seeing yourself on the thing. Right, there we are. Is everybody here? So we've got Danielle, Lorna, Anthony, Katie, lovely. And anybody else that might be watching on any other platform. Hello. Well, it's been a bit on the old busy side, I must say, this week. Butch ain't on, unfortunately, Emprian. I haven't seen Butch in a little while. I miss him, I do. When you see him, tell him I was crying. I miss him a lot. Hello, Angela. Look at that. Now 50p sheets, right? Look. Part down these ones. I've got that part. All of them. There's about 50 of there. Hopefully, each one of those will have a set of penguins in. That's what I'm hoping. But those have, those have flown off the shelf as fast as I could list them. I think somewhere in the region of about, I don't know, 70 sets so far. But anyway, what happened to him? I don't, well, he had his own stuff to deal with, and uh, we were just going to the cleaners, to be honest with you, Emprian. In fact, I did sort of go to the cleaners, and, uh, and we went bust. And everything, we lost the site and we lost all sorts of things. So it just sort of, uh, it's no wonder really, uh, people needed to back out and go, do you know what? I mean, he put in an awful lot of work and, and he's going to feel like that work is trashed. I don't blame him. I would at all. You know, if it was my work, it's all been trashed. All that work he put into Teespring and then the Royal Mint went and got that took down, didn't they? All, all deleted. You know, and that took him hours and hours and hours to do all of that work. All the, all the hours of work he put into our website, which I will get back, but <clears throat> might take me a little while. Um, so, yeah, we'll get there. And hopefully when Butch has had a little rest, anybody that's been working with me for any length of time needs a rest afterwards. So hopefully when Butch has had a bit of a rest, I'll get him back. That's the plan. And if you see him before I do, tell him that. Tell him Ian said he's going to get you back at some point. <coughs> I've still got his parcel. I've got a huge parcel for Butch to sort out next. So there we go.
So what a week it's been. I've now hit, the tw I'm just so pleased, I've hit the £20,000 mark. That's £20,000 worth of debt. Boom. Poof. Poof. Up in a puff of smoke. Right House could have done that. Debenhams could have done that. No creativity in the world. And we just went back to where it was hundreds of years ago and we just did a barter situation. I owe you this and all right, I'll have that. And Bob's your uncle. I had an uncle, Bob. So there we are. So I'm over the moon with that. No, John. No, he's probably fell asleep or something. I always get worried when I have a nerve problem. But I try not to be. So he's probably fell asleep. And left me all on my own, all on my lonesome. So I've been non stop. I mean, there's, you know, there's not much to tell you really about what I've been doing this week. I've, um, hello RJ, nice to see you, mate. I've just been doing these sheets non stop, and as fast as I've put them together, they've flown off, flown off the shelves. So I'm really pleased about that. Anybody that hasn't got a link, let me know, and I will give you the link. Still not advertising it, advertising yet, but you know, slowly, slowly. So all you've got to do is just text me or WhatsApp me and I'll give you the link. I will. I can't wake him up. He lives over there. He lives over the road. Oh, pardon me. I was going to go and get a bag of 50 peas this morning today and then I run out of time. So I put up a, a, a video to say that I'm buying 50 P's and two pounds. Now money buying them on a swapsy. So, you know, on the link for the new shop, I'll give you the link. And uh, for, if you give me 150 P's, then you can spend 100 quid for pounds of 50 P. If you give me 102 pounds, you can spend 400 quid. That's how I'm doing it at the moment. And uh, anybody that, that doesn't mind having that if you've got excess coins whatever they are it doesn't matter what they are it literally doesn't matter i'm run right out run either late because i just figured out a way to sell at least a thousand sheets of 50p coins and i know they're going to fly off the shelf as i list them so i need others to mix and match that i'm running out of so anybody that's got any spare and doesn't mind doing it on that basis, give me a shout. I'll take whatever you've got. <clears throat> no matter how easy or hard they are to find. And just to say, when people are buying, because some of you are buying these sheets of stamps and some of you are buying these sheets of coins and you're buying more than one, right? So let me give you an example, right? So somebody just bought some stamps and they bought buildings and places and they bought several of them. And I know you're watching. So make sure you have a look at the pictures before you necessarily buy it, because even though you've bought, say, two or three different buildings and places, every stamp on that sheet isn't going to be different to every stamp on that sheet, to every stamp on that sheet. There's going to be some that are the same. There's going to be, because the ones I have the most of will be in my, a lot of sheets. So there'll be some the same in each sheet. Each sheet will contain something different if it's a separate listing but what i'm saying is some will be the same it's just like the coins you know like what we've got here is 50 sheets and every single coin on here will probably be exactly the same on every sheet but that sheet whatever is on that sheet will be slightly different to the one i did yesterday which was 20 sheets 20 sheets all exactly the same those 30 coins won't be exactly the same coins as what's going on this sheet. There'll be some coins different. See? Hello, Ian. Nice to see you, mate. Hello, Daniel. Did you find sheets that the coins don't fall out? Yeah, look. That's upside down. And what it is, is I changed it and I made sure that I bought the sheets. Can you see that little envelope? 
can see that little envelope is there. I don't tuck it in, I just leave it out. And by leaving it out like that, it stops coin falling out, look. So they're the sheets we use now. And I've got thousands. See these, John, look, I was just showing them. Blimey. <laughs> Mum's up. I'm that far through doing like that. That much is done on all of them, you know. But I need mum. some others. Stand out, Mum. Hello, Mum. Hello, Mummy. Nice to see you. Love your bundles. Glad you popped on. So yeah, so that will be. So this, fifty sheets, hundred pound a sheet. That's five grand. And I bet you, John. I bet you, once I finish this off, the moment I list it, I bet you that that 50 doesn't stay listed for seven days. I bet the whole lot is gone within seven days. Right. Wouldn't surprise me if the whole lot was gone within 48 hours, but I reckon the whole lot will be gone within seven days. And up to now, we've paid 20 grand off the debt. Cool. 20 grand. Well, we will have if this final deal goes through that may go through today because somebody's uh, somebody's going to finish their debt off and it's about four grand's worth and, uh, and if that goes through today then that will take the total to about 20 grand. Brilliant. Mm. So I'm well happy. Well happy. Puts us back in the game again, doesn't it? Looks like I've been getting told off because I was late. Did you get into Yeah. I'm getting told off here. Anthony told me off. Lord told me off. <laughs> Did you fall asleep? No, no. I, I said you fell asleep. I take the dog. I took the dog for a walk. Oh, you got a dog? No. Ah. Uh, oh, you have a dog for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right then. Hi, Anthony. Yeah, Lorna. Sorry, I'm late, mate. Angela. So yeah, I've been I've been a bit busy. Yeah, those fifty p's definitely seem to be the one, don't they? Yeah, by making sure you see, because by making sure each sheet has got a set of penguins in it, it actually makes the sheet good value. Yeah. So what were, what were we selling the the, the uh, sets for? Just well, bit. originally we were selling the sets for about fifteen quid a set. Right. And as a value as an individual coin, they've probably got an individual value of about five or six quid, you know, somebody. Oh, right. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and there are people that sell them individually. We used to sell them individually, I think, at a fiver. Yeah. Something like that. And about 15 or 20 quid a set, somewhere in that region. So, yeah, so they, they, <laughs> they definitely work. And then, you see, I've got... Uh, I've got other ideas in mind that um, that will make sure that whatever we do, it it can't, it's not really going to be copied. I don't know if you was watching what I was saying earlier on. About yeah, I, well, I watched what you did last night about right yeah. where I was saying about um, how it costs, how it makes me look expensive when somebody yeah. buys it off me. That yeah. So, so in order to make sure there's no competition, the permutations of, of 30 are unbelievable. Yeah. Which means that, you know, I can always do a sheet of coins that someone hasn't got listed. Yeah. And because of the position we're in, we could put a non-release coin in the bottom. Yeah, exactly. And then, boom, as soon as you put that non-release coin in the bottom, it's, it's unique. Yeah. It's unique. You know, so... Um, so now I need 50 P's because I've run out, completely run out of all of the okay. all of the uh, easy ones, you know, the common ones, everything now. I've just about run out. Got a few Olympics here to mix in, but other than that, I need to find a load more. I haven't yet seen the video you did this morning when you were telling everyone you need 50 P's. Yeah, that was just one to put up saying that we're buying 50p's and £2 now. But when I say buying, I mean 
50 p's are a pound each, two pounds are four pound each, and that's by way of the swaps. Not yet, Mark. Um, I'm waiting on another 50 sets being delivered, and then when they get delivered, they're going in this bunch of 50. Um, so, uh, what was I just saying? What was I just answering you about? You were uh, asking people, you wanted a... Oh, yeah. Well, you want to buy 50s, but not for cash. Yeah, so not buying them for cash. Um, hello, wait, mate. Wait, you wait. want to pop on? Wow. There's a StreamYard link there. Just put that StreamYard up uh, for Aaron in case he wants to pop on and say hello, and you can join us. And then I, I thought you did this anyway, and I'll show you how to do it. So, so easy. Once you know how to do it, it's so, so easy. Mind you, I can't really work the stream well. Chris is working it from behind and then there's me and John, but you can have up to six people on here at a time. So you can actually come on the link, you put the link on and you can just join by coming on the link. Now there's me thinking, uh, and I, having watched him for quite some time, I assumed he was, you know, where streaming is concerned, he was like, well, no, I imagine, yeah, I imagine. But then again, you see, the thing video. is he only ever shoots Danny ever videos of himself, bless him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Whereas we'll have people come in and yeah. and uh, and join like you and so on. Yeah. But if you've got the link there, if you can paste it for him, um, Chris. Chris. Got Chris's name then. That's the link, Aaron. So if you click on that link, you should be able to sign in via your own YouTube, I believe. You should be able to just sign in and then join. As when I say join, I don't mean register or anything like that. I mean literally be visible. to join the conversation. You'll get put automatically into the back office. Chris will see you and then he'll just put you in and then all of a sudden there'll be three of us on the screen. So anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, 50p coin. So we'll give you a pound each or four pound each for the two pounds. And that is to spend in the shop. That's not buying them off you for cash. I ain't got the money yet. I've got to work up to that. We, we, we're not done bad so far. We're getting there. Um, so if anybody's got excess £2 coin commemoratives or anybody's got any excess, and that includes, I'll have shoulders as well, 2012 and 2005. And um, and if anybody's got any excess 50p's, give me 50 of them and then spend 50 quid in the shop. Yes, I am I will be doing some £2 sheets, Jim. I'm putting them together. Just bear with me. Take it over, John. Yeah, take over. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We are going to be doing two pounds. It's it's pretty clear. Although we're doing everything from starting at the uh, the decimal half p, etc. Um, pennies, two p. We're doing all the denominations, but uh, it's pretty obvious that people are very very keen on the on the higher value. Uh, sorry. I think we've already done all of our pounds. I stepped out to the garden for a while. So I think uh, I think they've gone, but um, yeah, as Ian has already said, he's working on the fifties. Wants some more fifties, and I believe we've got plenty of two pounds to start, haven't we? Ian? Plenty of two pound coins to start sheets. I've got I have got some to start off some sheets. I haven't even started putting together some two pound sheets yet. I have got some, but I did. I did, I do confess, that is one of the ones that we bastardised a lot of. We bastardised yeah. for two pounds and we did 50 peas. Mm. You know, I sort of planted my feet with a 50 peas, but with what ones we had there for the two pounds, we got rid of a lot of them. So I am going to, now I know that the sheets work, I'm going to need more of them. All the uncirculated two pounds that I've got and uncirculated 50 p's they've all been divided up and they're all in some trays ready waiting to be sheeted they're just perhaps ain't enough because like that might be a 10 sheet that might be a 20 sheet and they're probably ain't 30 lots in there yet yeah i was noticing yesterday when i when i watched you do the uh the actual sheeting up last night yeah how much easier it is with the big the bigger coins yeah, well, you see, I find it a lot easier when I just literally, yeah, when I just literally bend it over, and then and then you can just slot it straight in. And it's <laughs> nice. Stop it! No, <laughs> no. Nah, nah. uh, but I find that a bit easier doing it that way. 
Yeah, yeah, it looked very it looked very quick. Although I'm, I'm not convinced that doing one square on each sheet and then laying it down and then picking that sheet up thirty times is the best way. But certainly, when you're bending that, you know, creasing it up and out, yeah. and the, uh, and the, it opens up like you know, it's just it looked a lot easier. I mean, I'm having when I'm doing the RPs and penny. I'm having to use tweezers because I can't get my fingers into the into the right. individual slots, you know. If I'm doing 10 or 20 sheets, then what I find absolutely quicker, a manageable amount of sheets, like 10 or 20 or something like that, what I find really quick is to put the whole row, so put five. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I don't do any more. Yeah. And then put one in each slot, boom, 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 and do all five, put that down, yeah. right? And do it that way, and I find that really quick doing it that way. But yeah. when when doing a big bundle like this, that starts getting a bit confusing. So yeah. I just have a pile of coins and then do one square. One by time. one, yeah. Deep. Well, I must admit, I've got uh, another parcel delivered. This one I'm doing is is a fifty sheets, and uh, I thought, right, okay, I'll get the first five years out. And I'll do that line, do the whole 50. And then I'll do the second line, the whole 50. And of course, that's daft because I ain't going to have any finished until I've done five of the six lines. And then I do the next line and now I've got one finished. So what I'm going to do when I've done this line I'm on now, I'm just going to pick 10 or 20 out and complete the set because then I can get it to you. You can list it instead of waiting until I've done all 50. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you can give me a couple, the only danger is, um, <laughs> I did that. I don't know if you heard me say it on a video, but I went and did that because I listed ten sheets of fifty p's. Yeah, and bang, within ten minutes. Yeah, but you put up, you put up a, a, you in this scenario, you put all fifty up in the first place. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, the ideal thing is, you let me that. know one's ready, and I photograph yeah. it and put it up and say we've got fifty available. <laughs> but then, of course. You know, if they're not, we could run into problems. But yes, giving me 20 or something, and then I'll put up 20. And I'll just add to it when, when the others are done. Yeah. That works just as well. Hello, Kian. Nice to see you, mate. I think an awful lot of people that are watching right now have had their, uh, have had their debt settled or in the process of having their debt settled. So we've now got some people that are walking around with a smile on their face, which is good. Yeah, well, you know, at the end of the day, that's the advantage of, you know, coming and watching. If you're able to come and watch and you, you can be bothered, then obviously your requests are likely to be at the front of the queue. Mm. You know, and uh, yeah, to get so much out of it out of the way already, bearing in mind you only started doing these as an option two, three weeks ago. That's all it was, less than a month, yeah. I think. Yeah. We cleared 20 grand in a month. Yeah, which is like, you know, you're getting on, I don't know exactly, but like if you can continue at this rate, you know, I, I mean, I know there are some investors that, are, the you know, the larger investors probably not going to want to do it, but, or not do it for the whole amount. Well, the know. biggest one so far is a 16 and a half grand. Yeah. Some, uh, 16 and a half grand to, and they have, they've accepted to, to do it this way. And so far they've had... Um, About... Four I and think half. it's had over five grand's worth, I think. Five. Yeah, or 4,800. 5,800 they've had, I think. So that's uh, nearly 6,000 off the bill. So I'm down to about 10,700 with them. Cool. You know, and, and they've got their eye already. On those. On these. Yeah. So if that person decided to just add the lot, that would be another five grand. Bang, gone. You know, so I'm really it's like, it's like Aaron's. Um, Aaron's, uh, oh, here he comes. Hi, hi, here he is. <laughs> Hello, son. Well, I didn't know you could do that on Facebook. Yeah, well, I'm not actually, I'm doing it on YouTube, but I'm, I'm using a thing called StreamYards in order to do it through YouTube, and then you can set it so that it will. It will stream through YouTube and Facebook. So at this moment, we're going out live on my YouTube, my Facebook, Chris's YouTube, 
Lorna's YouTube, and I think our uh, the Great British Coin Hunt page on Facebook. So we're going out on about five places live all at the same time. Well, considering I do this for a living, I never knew you could do this on Facebook. That's what I said to him, Aaron. I said, well, for the amount of time you've been... Well, it was just Instagram. Yeah. No. No, it no. might even be the same programme. What's your mate? You've just doubled my income. That's, That's all right. right. Good. You can show your appreciation with another non That's great news. Basis podcast. I'll just share it with a thank you. <laughs> Say thank you, <laughs> granddad. Hello, mate. <laughs> you've just you've just literally you've you've secured your grandson's future i mean what more what uh, appreciation i mean look at that face you've just fed him for another 10 years yeah no. <laughs> thanks to granddad and he needed it look at look at him granddad's, yeah granddad's you know, a few ideas and a bit of creativity <laughs> yeah so you can have it go out okay we'll go you can have it go out so you use Streamyard and then you can set it in Streamyard and it can and you're just doing the one video like now so I'm just I just joined it like you did from the link we went live Chris went live on my YouTube and then uh, we just joined it and come into but it, it comes live. up live as normal on the Facebook doesn't it so people just watch it as a normal video they don't have to join a link to watch it no it's just join a link to to um, be a part of it right yeah it's oh, clever so if you was what are you watching this on are you doing this now on the on your on your ipad or your phone phone you talk to me on your phone yeah right so you've got your ipad there right <laughs> yeah okay so if you wanted to so this is how it, this is how easy it is for you to be able to do it right now supposing this is a different stream supposing i don't know supposing you're doing a stream of calvin I'd rather instead not. Of me and, instead of me and John, it's you and Calvin. Right? Yeah. Okay, so if you go on your iPad, give me a second, Sean, leave the question up there and I'll answer it. Um, so if you go on your iPad, do it now for a test. All right, go on your iPad. It's not connected to Facebook. Oh. So I'll get Calvin or somebody to do it. I'll just tell them right. StreamYard and they'll set it up. Okay, what I was going to say was, if you share this to your... Yeah page yeah right then all your people on your page they can yeah. then see the video going on and they can join in well so it gave me an idea for what off. me and you talked about i don't actually need to be with you we could we could do our thing over this yeah this is what i was talking about at the time oh we didn't say that did you well you know you know what oh, gonna say you expect, it. you expect people to there. read your mind didn't you you got a habit of that always <laughs> yeah just let me answer that quick question. Sean Slater says, do you think the 2020 is going to be worth something down the road, 50 Olympics? Got two yes, Sean, 100%. Bye yeah, now. Mate. Yeah. And he don't know nothing about coins. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. Right. So, uh, so, yeah, that'll work for you. Get as many of them as you can. Put them away. Keep them nice and secure. Use these when you can because it keeps them clean and tidy and you can write on a plastic. Then, um, so anyway, for those of you that don't know, this is my son Aaron, and that was my grandson, one of my little grandsons. This is Aaron, who looks nearly as handsome as his dad, and this one is the handsomest of all, I suppose. You got Thank you. A little list, not you. <laughs> oh, Heads. Cool. So we've been up to then. Well, are you back over here now? You must be, yeah? <laughs> no, I'm not coming back to England. No, 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 no. I, I, want to I thought you was on your way back over. Where are you, back? you what, sorry? Back no, I'm back in Spain. I came back to get Archie um, for a oh, week. Hang on. Before you, before you say... Everybody, anyway. raffles closing. Yeah. So those of you that want to get a ticket, quick, 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 because we need the money. So there's raffles closing. There. Go and get a ticket. Yeah, raffles closing. Go and get a ticket. Now, if he said that, if he was on his stream right now, and he <laughs> said that, we'd have twenty thousand tickets sold in about fifteen minutes. I know, but I can't share you because twenty minutes ago I went live yeah. with Mental Energy. Yeah. 
And so I'm trying to get sales for that at the minute. <laughs> Otherwise, it would divert. Yeah. Anybody who wants an energy drink, mentalhamster.com. It's available now. See, totally shameless. Absolutely. Totally shameless. <laughs> I wonder where I get that from. Yeah. So I came back to England to sign some contracts, actually, with uh, Mental for Mental Energy with the Rich List, and then I picked up Archie at the same time, and then came back to Spain. That's good back over there. How long are you staying there for? Just a couple of weeks, or? No, that's it. I'm, I'm, I mean, I live here now, so um, uh, it's... No, I mean, before you come back over again, right, to bring Archie back. Yeah, no, I won't be coming back over until they open... Um, uh, the airports, and when I say airports, until they allow play, um, uh, aircrafts to go airborne, so I can carry on my lessons. Otherwise, I won't be coming back. There's no, there's no reason to come back. Okay. Um, cool. I don't want to come back. <laughs> I'm happy here. Yeah. Yeah. Play Spain. But the 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 borders. Well, we had this conversation anyway. Of the, it's a bit of a a weird one. Obviously, the coronavirus seems to be something serious from from what I've seen. But contagious is what they say. I don't know. They haven't they haven't um, closed the borders not once since the coronavirus um, started. So, no, I know like that from first hand. I told you that didn't I? Because I went through. Yeah, you drove you drove all the way back, and they didn't. You didn't have to stop or show your passport or nothing. No, the went they haven't even closed the um, the Euro tunnel since the out since the outbreak. And I filmed myself going through, not an issue, not a problem. Wow. There's no one in France wearing face cloths, although they have made a mandatory now uh, in Spain. So if you go into a public area, um, like for instance a shopping mall, you have to wear a face cloth. If you go on, on public transport, so you have to wear a face cloth. But they just made that mandatory um, in the UK as well from the fifteenth. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know what's going on because personally, I, I, if it was that contagious with the riots and that that's been going on, I don't see how the hospitals aren't full up. So that's 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 questionable. Okay. Furthermore, you've just opened up a can of worms because if you're telling people that you want them this mandatory to wear face cloths, especially in London on public transport, with all the knife crime and with everything that's going on and it's hard to identify people as it is, you've just given people the right to wear a mask in a jewellery... I have to wear a mask in a jewellery shop over in here. I know. You'd be going into shops with balaclavas on. That's, it's no absolute it, madness what they're going to create for themselves because in people... The old days, I saw someone with a balaclava on. You could have been Something might well, be going over there. I'm not saying I've got a criminal mind and I'm not suggesting for one minute that you have, but if you're thinking outside the box, I was walking around the shopping centre and hiring places thinking... This is madness. I've got a security guard telling me to put a mask on. Mm. It's absolute bonkers. Yeah. New raffles live, by the way, so a link will be going up in a second, and then you can uh, join the raffle for, what day is it today? Friday. So we're back on Tuesday, John. John? Yeah, Tuesday, yeah. We're back on Tuesday, so uh, the new raffle's live now. And just hold on a second, Darren, because we just got to pull the winner. So, uh, whenever you're ready, Chris, you can do your spinning discs. There's one for a ring and there's one for 50 quid to spend in the new shop, I think. You know. So, that's... Uh, uh, Chris will do that in a minute and he'll take over the screen in a minute. Until then, we're fine. Yeah, so it's just a bit um, confusing at the minute with what's going on. But then, I only know this... Everyone was going online going when I was talking about lockdown. It's not a lockdown. Everyone was going against me and, and, and I've been right every single time because of course I'm two weeks ahead of the UK. So what's happening here is yeah, having yeah. a knock on effect. No. Yeah, yeah. No. And it will have a knock on effect. It's just oh, madness. Peace spring.com, Fred. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fuck two eight eight. We don't use naughty words on this one. I know. Not. On my other one, I use I use naughty words that will make you cringe. Trust me. But on here, we we we, we don't use any naughty words because we got children on here. That's all. Just letting you know. Before oh, we, right. we got 
children on here, so I don't have any more spoilers okay. on here. Won't say any more naughty words. Two eight eight. Thank you. Love you to bits. Yeah, exactly. Two eight eight. We don't mind doing that. So uh, okay, hit the button. Who we got? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? This is mental. I bet. I bet Aaron's standing there, John. He's like he's de he deals in hundreds of thousands, and here he is. Look, he's just like, holding. Five. He's got about three raffles. Oh, I'm trying to contain myself here. Eh? While we do a little fifty quid raffle. Chris, I should have joined. Chris. Chris Dyer. There you go. What was that for? The ring or the fifty? That was quid? for the ring. Yeah. That was for the ring. Okay. Mm. And then we've got the 50 quid. Hang on one second. Ah. Round it, round and round it goes. Where it stops, no. No. Oh, look at that. Nanny Stu. Nanny Stu just got it. Oh, Archie, do you want an ice cream? Ice cream. Thanks, Danny Sue. That's brilliant. Well done. So, uh, 50 quid to spend for Nanny Sue. Nanny Sue, you've got the link. Are you watching, Nanny Sue? Are you here? Is Nanny Sue on? I haven't seen her. Okay. I'll uh, otherwise I'll text her. But, um... Okay, so, uh... That's... Chris, do you want me to just send you a mystery ring or do you want to pick one? If you do, I'll hold them up to the camera and you can pick one. There you go. Uh, Nanny Sue, I will text Nanny Sue and tell her she's got 50 quid to spend. Then the other question is, how did we do on a raffle this week? Me and John are dying to know. Oh, yeah, that's what I've been waiting for. You answered yeah. to that. Yeah, that's what I've been waiting for. Aaron wants to know too. That's all I've been thinking about this week. See, Aaron will sit round the table and he'll say something like, so how many hundreds of thousands of pounds did we turn over this week then? Whereas me and John are sitting round the table going, did we break 50 quid on the raffle? <laughs> well, say that, but I've got hundreds of thousands of pounds about going. Hello, Nanny, you just won 50 quid on a raffle, right? So you've got the link now. Remember, I sent you the link. So uh, you know what to do. So you can spend 50 quid on anything that's on there and you can take it as long as you like to spend it. All right, love? Well done. You know what you could have done on YouTube? Missed a trick here. Could have put it in the status. Aaron Lambo. I could what? Should have put it in the status if you'd have known that I was coming on. Aaron yeah. Lambo. And if it's on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, you see, for you to think that I've missed a trick, because I should have put that in there. Would I would never that? think you've missed a trick thinking I'm, about it. I'm looking at crystal ball. Now, Aaron, I know I'm good, but I didn't know that you would be popping on. Otherwise, I might have. However, what you could, I'm not missing a trick. Oh, was trick. I expecting you to read my mind then? Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, what you could, it's, not, it's, it's amazing how many people expect that. What's this gentleman's name who's on the screen as well? John. Yeah. John. John. Don't feel awkward because we're right at a minute, but it'll turn into an argument in a couple of minutes. But don't feel <laughs> awkward. We're fine. We're fine. Come on, Doug. But you could always share this if you want to. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I'm not on Facebook at the minute. <laughs> That's all right. How do you share it on your Facebook? Hold on, if I go onto my Facebook. Yeah. If you go onto your Facebook, you can then just go on to the where you where you clicked on it onto the post itself and just click the share button and then you share it and then that's it, it's done. Can edit it after to add Aaron's name in. Yeah, that's great. We'll do that. Um uh, Chris, can you can you um edit the title and you could put, you know, uh special guest. Aaron Lambo, double A double O N. His name double A double R O N. Two A's, two R's. But actually, have a look at the views because I think I've done it, but I don't. I'm not quite I'll sure. Tell you. 
Well, you'll find out in a minute because the views will go shit off. All, all I've said, no, no what? words. Go on my page because I haven't got another device. Have a look because I can't no, see no, it. No, we only have a number, not our number. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, the, I yeah. see the comments on the YouTube, but Chris, who's doing this for us behind, he can see what the total views are. He'll tell us in a minute. Yeah, but Dad, look, if you go on to on another device and go onto my page, you'll be able to see what comments come up on the page. You're going to get a lot more. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I see. I'll tell you what, sometimes. Sometimes, eh? The parents that don't listen to their kids, though. Well, I'm not one to say that or no, point it out. No, you're not one to point anything out like that. Now, where am I finding it? No. And I don't really want to drop a hint, but... Yeah. Where is it? Yeah. On what page? On the Aranambo page. Oh. oh God. I was on the wrong page, man. How can you get the wrong page? There's only one page. Because you got an it happens to be the page, page of your son. Yes. It's... Right. Well, excluding it, excluding hey, Aaron's we page, got, we got we got four likes. So we got four thumbs ups. Hold on. No, on the Aranambo page, it's all three of us coming up. Yeah. Got it. I've got it. So he doesn't even know what page it is, John. That's the problem. <laughs> Ask him when my birthday I just is. Told you, look. Ask him my birthday, John. Gets it wrong every time. Ian, when's Aaron's birthday, mate? When's my birthday? 30th of August. <laughs> you got that right, and that was by fluke because you went for the one that you always. Oh, okay. What year, mate? That was a fluke. Yeah, what's the year? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Wow. I'd have to See? think back. It's somewhere region of... Um, Calvin was 80, 82. Uh, Harry was about 91. You're somewhere in the region of See, it, that is the problem. You just answered it right there. 87, Those Calvins, <laughs> never forget Harry's, but Aaron's, oh my oh. God. God forbid yeah. we, 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 we remember Aaron's birthday. Oh, will you? You don't let go of that. How old are you? Hey, I'm fine. It's not like I hold a grudge or anything. You can't really see oh, where the issues lie, can you? How many, how many of you parents out there have had this from your kids? Oh, you remember Calvin's, uh, the year Calvin was born. Oh, you remember the year Harry was born. Oh, yeah. woe is me. You don't remember the year I was born and all of that. You get all that, do you? You get all that? Stevie B, Popcorn, Nanny, do you get all that? No, I, I don't because I know my four kids' date of birth and ages. <laughs> I, know mine. Oh. I know mine. I just need yeah. a moment to work and it I'm out. I'm nine years stuff. older than you, so you I know, just... I've, got a, I've got an excuse to forget. But uh, I can even but give like him a you watch him on my page, and you don't actually know really what's going on here. Well, that's my dad. That's a gentleman that I, I don't know. Um, yeah. They're on uh, a line together. He's my That's dad. John. I don't That's even know which direction you are, to be honest. That's John. Yeah. John John and me, we work together. We just went bust. We just went to the cleaner. <laughs> oh, God, Dad, this a, that you're going to make me look really bad. I've just signed one of the biggest deals of my life. And now everyone's going to be like, why's Dad gone bust, Aaron? Why are you not helping your dad, Aaron? Why are you not sharing his stuff, Aaron? This is the first time I've seen your dad, Aaron. Well, I don't know. I didn't say any of that. I mean, if the cap fits, wear it. But I didn't say any of that. All I ever do is talk about the cap to people, really. No. Know? But uh, I'm just explaining. You know I've noticed mean? my but dad doing a live watching, video, you, and I thought I'd jump in on it. Let me tell you, every one of Aaron's followers, right? Let me tell you, what you're watching right now between me and, and this bloke here is history. History in the making. Absolute oh, history in the making. When have you ever Ripping known this. any business, anyone in the world, when have you ever known any business go bust and all of a sudden that business's credit has come forward and they go, hey, listen, I don't mind having what you owe me in goods at the retail price. We've just made issues by doing it and we've made ourselves and untangling ourselves actually being well. Instead of clean, as said and buried. But actually now, not. And life wonderful. See, miracles and all the that. You know, my inbox is going to be full of people. Aaron, why do you let your dad go past? Yeah, Absolutely do that. Yeah, well, that would mean I'd be sponging off him and I don't do that. There you go, see? You wouldn't believe this, people, but I offered my dad, like, 20, 30 grand last week. He wouldn't take it. 
I was like, Dad, listen, this, this is yours. And do you know what he said? He went, no, I don't want it, son. Yeah. Thanks. I said, you need that for the uh, cardboard boxes for all the mental hamster energy drinks, if you're going to sell. Absolutely. Which happen to be online right now. For sale, pre-production, paper labels. Be the first to try the unique flavour. Sorry, Dan, I'm jumping on you. Well, actually, I'm That's not sorry. Mentalhamster.com. No trouble at all. And if anyone out there wants to support his dad or his kid's oh, wow. granddad or me or John, for that matter, mm. then you can go to www.payhip.com. <laughs> wow. Payhip.com, where you could buy into if you wanted to. You can buy and something. Would you believe it? That I've got this argument with the Royal Mint, and you think his arguments are something, my arguments with the Royal Mint and 288 Brigham Young Rock Stars. You can buy into that there, or you can support him on www.djbch. He's not the only one that can do it, you know, he's not the only one that can hijack and back in a bit of shameless advertising. I need it too. So any and for those of you that are new to watching on my page that are thinking, what exactly does your dad do? My dad is the complete opposite to me, as, as you'll probably notice. He's a very argumentative person. He always picks fights with, with organisations that are a lot bigger than him. Um, he, he happens to win a lot of the time, too. He's very knowledgeable, but he always thinks he's right. Always. I'm a dad. That's my job. Mm. Oh, yes, it is. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I tell you what, you need to you need to clip that bit of the video, right? You fans out there of Aaron need to clip that bit of the video. And then when you see him as the years go by and you see him talking to his children, you can play him that clip. Always got to be right. Always got to be right. Because he's a parent and you're going to have to be always be right. That's my I'm always right, though. That's the thing. So, what have we talked about already? We've talked to you, we've talked about um, you forgetting my date of birth. We've talked about a few family issues. We've talked. No, we haven't talked about family issues. We have talked about me missing the year of your birth, not the date of your birth. Mm, see, you get the date wrong every time. You were lucky this time, it was though. The 30th. Yeah, you were lucky though. You were going to say thirty first, like you say every single time. <laughs> you was lucky. Yeah, well, I was thinking of it. Mm. But admit, I was thinking about it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just not. I'm just quite happy to watch the or listen to the very. <laughs> well, we're doing. We're, we're actually. This is record breaking, John, because normally we'd be in an argument by now. This is first. We've never done this before. Oh. What? This. This. Oh well, yeah. Well, oh. me and you have privately, but. You know, so, we've done like this before. Hello, Casey. Nice to see you. Like father, like son. Agree, David. You have no idea how much we and him are like each other. We are nothing alike. He doesn't like to admit it. Nothing. Uh, I've got, I got a fucking drawing on my face for a start. We're nothing alike. Sorry, he has so much like me. He has, his epiphany moment is when he goes in the shower. He's talked about that, hasn't he? Time and time again, he's, he's talked about that on video, about when he goes in the shower and he has his moments. Actually, no, I didn't tell people that. Oh, don't talk, tell people that. No. Okay. Well, that falls on flat arse then because I was just going to say, you know, I've been doing that for 40 years, but for me, it's in a bath. I have a bath and I have a moment, and it's like, oh, it's all clear. He does it in a shower. Superpowers. For those of you watching me on my page, there is no reason for being on this feed at all, only for the fact that I saw my dad have a live feed and I thought I'd jump on. So if you're thinking there's a point to any of this, there isn't. Yeah, This is just a little insight. This is just a little insight and me showing a minute bit of support for, my, yeah. for, for, for the old man. But it's an insight. You can't, you can't even... Of why I am. You really. Why? You know, you've got to say yes, thanks very much. For what? You just said giving my dad a little bit of support, and I went absolutely. You can't, you can't knock a bit of support. I was agreeing no. with you. That's what I'm saying. You've got to say thanks very much. But I'm getting to the point that we are nothing alike. We are absolutely nothing alike. Oh, we're everything alike. Just because you've got a few tattoos that I haven't got, we've got every. We're everything alike. You know. So I'm got a number two. You're bald. I mean, I'm not bald. Alike. Well, nearly. I choose we're, to have my hair. Yeah, we're everything alike. You are so much like me, it is uncanny. If you could go back 40 years, 
and meet up with me, you'd be like, I had to start meeting up with myself. Hey, John, do you reckon we're a lot alike? You've seen a lot of his videos. Yeah. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was your favourite? What, what, what do you think? <laughs> well, I like the cars and I like the... I like the controversial one sometimes, so I like the PC dickhead one. Oh, don't uh, say that. There's a court order against me on that one. All right, okay. But the cars I like. I like the Actually, you cars. can say that because I didn't say it, so you can say it as much <laughs> as you like. <laughs> but the, uh, yeah, the reviews, I, I must admit I'm too old to bother watching like when you're actually training guys, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't watch them much. But if Lee's over and you do one with Lee, I'll watch that. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, round round way with you. Well, you won't be surprised, but I've got a son. He's twenty eight, twenty nine, and like the world and his brother watches his videos. <laughs> All his mates watch your videos. Yeah, it's a bit crazy. I haven't really got used to it yet. I don't when think I it's ever get used to. When I went down to the Royal Mint, there was there was a. This, this is a story I talk about because I just thought it was it was funny. John will remember me saying when I went down to the Mint, we were in the pub. It was the end of the night. It was about midnight. The, the bar was just about finished closing. We're all around the tables, about a dozen of us around the table just talking, finishing off a couple of drinks. And uh, <clears throat> I can't remember how the subject came about, but you came into the conversation. And I said, I said, he's, he, he is so famous that even in a place like this now, where there is nobody here because they've all been out, there's about so four funny. people over the other side of the room. <laughs> that's it. I said, even in a place like this now, if he walked through the door, somebody would recognise him. And um, so they was, we were talking at the table and they said, well, what's his name? And so I said, at that moment, two people sat around the table. The person sat there and the person sat there went, I know him. This person said, I've been following him for over a year. This person said, oh, I remember the piece of thing. Both people I was talking to, both probably at the thing. So those crazy. of you that um, follow Aaron, that I'm now posing on and doing another sh bit of shameless advertising on. So my Facebook is uh, Ian P Lambert. Look, it's there. Look, you can uh, you can come and join my page if you want. And uh, my YouTube is the Great British Coin Hunt. So you can look for me on YouTube, the Great British Coin Hunt, and you can see me having a go at the Royal Mint and 288 Group and my argument that I have with them. And Dad knows that's why oh, I've seen I've seen it first and arguing. I've and learned I most of what I know from from my dad. Five thousand pound challenge on my channel. That if anybody can answer a simple question, as how does A do that? Do that? How does that happen? You can win five grand worth of product. Just by answering a simple question, it's been up there all this time. Nobody's been able to answer the question. That's me having a go at Royal Mint called using them of money laundering and all sorts. But have a look at that. <sighs> and I'm 57. I've been doing this for longer than I can remember. It's your birthday recently, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Yeah. I would really really because we're live and all the rest of it so i really would like to be able to say thanks very much for that vodka but i ain't never seen any i think Still not got there yet. no i think the delivery man must have drunk it on the way no i'm actually going to tell you the reason and you ain't going to yeah. believe me and it's going to start no, there you go. see what i mean see what i mean you just go straight no. into being negative a... this is the issue that we have this i can't the that we have. right well i'm going to tell i'm going to tell you what happened who's is that that's that's just oh, inconsiderate. Sure. I, I did so order the vodka. What had happened was we had sold out. So when I said to you I was going to send you the vodka, we'd actually yeah. sold out. So we had to have new ones made. Yeah. And then the you and three others that I asked to get sent straight from the distillery didn't yeah. get sent. And I did actually no. send them again a few days ago. Yeah. But to the others, I forgot to get yours sent again until you just mentioned it again. So, yes, I did forget. I am actually going to get slaughtered through my inbox. So, hold on a minute, Aaron. You've just signed a £7.2 million pound deal that you bragged about the other yeah. day and your dad's just come back. Also, it was his birthday. Seven. You couldn't even send him a vodka. Yes, yes, and yes. And there's reasons for it all. Don't judge me. £7.2 
Yeah, I know. It's good, isn't it? We had a conversation. <laughs> we had a conversation. Like, we had a conversation on live. And I told him it would be a good idea to sell masks. I told him he had the pub. The, 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 where oh, we I got crucified for that. Guess what? Ended up and, selling out. And he and and at the time on the on the on the video chat that we had, he was like damning it. You know, no. It's not good. And I said, "Be a really good idea for you." Next time I'm talking, you didn't give me that idea. Listen, you'll never guess. You did not give me that. That's, no, you didn't. You you did not give me that idea. I did. I you did. didn't. I told you that in front of Jennifer. You didn't. You didn't. When did you mention face cloths? And you can't call them masks, apparently. It's illegal. Can't call them masks. No. Face cloths. I don't remember you saying that. I know you don't. We had that conversation. You said at the time I didn't remember you saying that. Oh, right, so, okay, so not only during the biggest deal of my life, my dad's gone bankrupt, I didn't send him a vodka on his birthday, and I've stolen his idea, and I've made a fortune, and I've sold out. Was it 14,000 of them you sold in one day or something? How many was it? Go on. The specifics Go on, how many? aren't important. Was it more or less? <laughs> the specifics are not important. Go on, go on. Push him. Was it more or less? Huh? Cheers, LJ. I missed the other comment. I'll have a look at it if you put it back up, Chris. Cheers, LJ. Dads have a job. They have a moral job to be right. Even when they're wrong, they have a job to try and be right. But you're not they're right. You didn't give me that right. idea. Sorry, you sorry. didn't give me you didn't give me that idea. All right, no problem. I I ain't well, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do no, that. No, All what? right, no problem. Because what you're no, doing now, you're making me look the aggressor. No, this I is am. what that's no, what, no, that's no. exactly what you're doing. I know what I'm you're not. doing. That's <laughs> obvious. You're starting an issue, then you're allowing me to then respond, and then you go, all right, all right. No, no, like the moral high ground all right. of a sudden. Then, of course, now I'm going to get loads of inboxes saying, why are you being aggressive to your dad? I can't talk to him like that. Why are you so, you've always been aggressive. Why are you worried about your inbox? Why did you I'm worried about my inbox because it's going to cost me a fortune. I already pay four people oh, now yeah. as it is to go no, through them all. Why do you care about your inbox? Because it's well, going to cost got, me a fortune you've got to get so many messages. Well, that's all right. You've earned seven point two million. You can afford another forty quid for someone on social media. Not all of that was mine. Oh, all right. I have to split it now. Of course you do. I missed the comment. Sorry, Chris. And then there's tax. Two peas in a pod, you do. <laughs> oh, oh again. <laughs> apparently I'm on the run. That's a new one, Dad. What's that? Apparently I'm on the run. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was a troll the other day. You on the run? No. Clearly you are. That's why you're in Spain, so you don't have to pay tax. Well, that's why <laughs> company is registered in oh, England okay. on company's house. Clearly yeah. you know nothing about business. I still have to pay VAT and tax in the UK, no matter where I live in the world. Still getting away from that. All right, Joel. Nice to see you, mate. The Great Rich Coin Hunt on YouTube. That's me. Or, or Ian there you go. Look, there's, there's one. Started already. Terrible, oh, no. nasty to your dad. No, you don't know the half of it. Kids. You don't know the half of it. Hello, Mumsy. There's another one. You're the yeah. same. We're not. Yeah. No, yeah. we're not. Yeah. We're not. Yeah. We're not. Yeah. And he's only getting away from the subject. So how many was it you sold in one day? Was it more or less than 14,000? I haven't forgotten that question. Now catch him, walk around and sink through. Exactly, Gary. You know what I mean? What's you that? can pull all over everybody's eyes, but your dad. Mine, unfortunately, is not anymore. I'll be, Get me I'll be sold any. No, go on. What was your best day? Was it? Did it? Was it more or was it less than fourteen thousand? What on what masks? On, Just on, on, on face coverings. I don't know why that's so uncomfortable. Hello, Paul. Nice to see you, mate. What was? I don't know why that's so uncomfortable. I'll tell you what's uncomfortable it because I know what you're insinuating. You're I'm insinuating like, that you not, gave me the idea and I've made a load of money on that and I couldn't right. even contribute by buying a raffle ticket. That's what you're I know where it's going. I know. I'm not Oh, and now it's gonna be no, and then it's gonna be now more high ground and look at the aggressor again. No, not at all. I'm just asking a simple question. You're the one making a meal out of it. If a few, I don't know the exact figure. I don't know the exact figure. So you've got no idea. It could be like... Turn into an place. interview, and I'll tell you what, ask any question you want. I don't mean exactly. I was only curious. Was ask like any question you want. Ask any question you want, I'll answer it. 
Go on, now's your time. Everyone's going to be glued right now to the screen. Go on. Go on, any question you want, go. Any question I want. All right, I'll just ask the... Aaron really looks like his dad. Peter Williams, most... you'll get blocked. <laughs> Don't worry about that, mate. You come over to my channel. He goes blocking you Oh, yeah. So that. everybody he now go over to... to okay. Right, yeah, ask any question out. you want. Go on, so aggressive. YouTube, there we go. It's a great started. I'm just under 10 Are You owe him 50%. 50%, I owe you. Who does? <laughs> How did All this right. get the 50-50? Nice one, Gary. How did this get the 50-50? Look, so you said any question, right? The question is just a simple question. Me and John, we're just chilling over a cup of tea. www.teespring.com. No forward slash no 288 if you want one. Of <laughs> I don't even get the money. It goes to old Butch. But um, you need to, so get one yep, of those. Anyway, the question was, how many did you sell? What was your biggest day? I don't know. Was it 20,000? Was it... Was it hundred on the on the mask or on a just on the face gloves? On the face cloth coverings. I don't know the exact figure. I wasn't around for most of it. Jamie is the honest answer to that. And the part of the time I was around, I thought I messed it up. What's that? So the answer was that I don't know an exact figure. Twenty-ish, over twenty, less than twenty. Over twenty. Over twenty-five. It's about, about that, just under. Okay, so about 25,000 face coverings was your best day. Nice one. No, no, I made and just under £25,000 on the face coverings. Oh, £25,000. I was just wondering how many coverings it was, that was all. I don't I don't know an exact figure. But you went into the money side of it after getting all sexy. Because I thought that's what you were asking. You just stitched me right up. No, I didn't. You stitched yourself up. Come I just helped you. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm dead. Come on, em. I'm ready for it. Ask another question. You got people glued. This is what they want to. This is what they, we should do. John, another one on a Sunday. Right. You'll have to excuse me then, John. John, ask John. a question, John. Any question, you ask Go on. any question you might think of asking or might have thought of asking. Oh, you're getting a bit of a sandbox here. Look, you should do more of this. He's giving us the opportunity to ask him any question we want, and I've asked him one. Fair's fair. You ask him one. Anything you like. Hello, Fergus. Well, you know, obviously, oh. I'm, not, I'm not his dad for one, so I'm certainly not going to go into the area that might... Uh, I would not... John, don't hold back, mate. You're on no, my social know. media now. Just just nice send it out. No, I wouldn't dream of embarrassing anybody on here, but... Uh, you yeah, can't embarrass me any more than I've embarrassed myself, and I'm pretty sure he can say the same. So, yeah, okay. So, um, I know what I'd like to know. How's Harry doing? Fuck Harry. Uh -uh. <laughs> Naughty words. No See what I mean? Words. See what I mean? I Get John you to ask a question, right? What happens? what happens? What no, happens? First person that's Chris, named is that Harry. Up, it's mate. like when I was you growing up. Why can't you, know you be somebody... more like Harry? Why can't you be clever like Harry? Why can't you be more academic like Harry? Ask him what when Harry's Harry birthday is. He knows Harry's with birthday. With we with ask an independent here. adjudicator. <laughs> ask Aaron any question, John. Would you believe it, Dad? First thing he says is, how's Harry? I don't care how Harry is. Okay, we've established that. Now, somebody else, Sam, just said something. She said, why doesn't your dad cut Aaron a bit of slack? You missed that one. Why well, that's the only one on my side. Aaron a bit of slack? What have I done? What have I done, Sam? Cut Aaron a bit of slack. Mate, I just well, asked a Contributed to this. That's what you did. It's called pushing buttons. And dad's parents know how to push Are there any face cloths? Ah, are there any face cloths left? Just so happens, right, we do have his and hers face cloths on mentalhamster.com free when you spend £30 or more. But there is only around about 70 or something left. Uh, not many left. So you get, better get one quick. Don't you do giveaways on your product, says, uh, says a customer then. and No, don't do giveaways. You want it, buy it. And uh, I, I have actually sent a face cloth to my dad because of his age, like along it. with the vodka. He just hasn't got it yet because there's been an issue with um, uh, the Royal Mail because of the corona. I did that once, David, and I've regretted it every day for the rest of my life since. What? So that won't be happening ever again. What? You, you're so answering questions and no one knows what you're talking about. You've got to ask the, report oh, the question see. that he's asked. Okay, so, uh, well, normally, you see, because it's been going on at a fast pace. Is your dad coming to Spain? No.
John does the reading. But somebody said, why don't you take your belt off to him? And I said, I did that oh, one. Yeah, let's ago. talk about that. Yeah, that's day. a good one. Let's bring that up. I got the belt once. Yes, you did. Do you know why? Mm. For doing something that I didn't actually do. I got accused no. of... Co- yes, I remember the day. Oh, like yeah, yeah. yesterday. I got accused of swearing yeah. at my sister. And my dad said... I did swear at my sister the first time. Yeah. And he said, if you swear at her again, I'll give you the belt. Yeah. Well... He was told that I saw her again. And I actually didn't the second time. Ah, so we parked outside his house. Yeah. He went inside the living room. I was in the back of his Ford Sierra with my nan. Did not want to get out of that car. And do you know what? I remember these words like it was yesterday. My nan was there. She looked at me and she went, I think your dad's waiting for you. I was like, Fuck. So I got out of the car and it was the longest <laughs> walk I've ever had. To the living room. Do you know what he did? Dangled me upside down by one hand, one hand, one hand, with his tight Brutus top because he used to train then. Yes, and he whipped me with his belt. Mm-hmm. Oh, not just once. Oh, oh, no, no, no. He went to town on me. And I'm thinking, Calvin will be in in a minute to save me because Calvin's upstairs. He's a lump. Calvin will be in in a minute to save me. Any second now, Calvin will be in in a minute. Oh, no, Calvin. Calvin was nowhere to be seen. Well, don't worry, I ain't letting forget about that either. But you know what? I don't hold a grudge. No. All right. Beaten, I was. Beaten. You know that saying, you won't be able to sit on your ass for days? Oh, that yeah. was true. Oh, that was true. You see, now, it's one of those areas where the, uh, the remembrance of the occasion is different in my head what it is in his head oh well it would be it would be but i ain't going to give the difference of occasion because he's absolutely right what i did was i took my belt off and i give it to him and i should never have done that no parents should ever do that to their kids no no how awkward do you feel now john well I, well i'm not responsible Aaron, so i don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good answer. I like it. He's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It just cost me about 40 quid a week in therapy. <laughs> That's cheap. Well, she's good to me. Go on, then. Ask another question. Go on, John, do you want to ask a question about me, mate? Forget my brother. Uh, yeah, when's it all going to... Uh, what, what other products you think you're bringing out? I'm glad you asked. That's a good question, isn't it? Well, the mental energy drink is now live at mentalhamster.com for those of you that haven't tried our unique taste. Other than that, I plan. I plan to. I plan to um, take over the world. And I think there's a gap in the market at the minute with Corona going on, so um, I'm sort of creeping up the ranks. It's going to take me a while. Yeah. But I'm trying. I've got a few things that um, we are we are launching, but um, uh, I can't actually talk about them yet because when you're launching products, you've got to go through um, testing, and then you've got to trademark things, and then depending on on what names you're going to use, so on and so forth. So there's not really much that I can tell you apart from vitamin C. <coughs> anyway, you don't talk about products. Ask a, a personal question about me or Dad. What question have you got? Come on, think of something. I'll give you a product. I'll give you a new product. I don't want a new product. Okay. Excuse I me. Bet I, I bet I've got. Go on. Give me a product. I bet I thought of it. This is where he's gonna. I'm gonna say I've already done it, and then he's gonna accuse me of not. He's gonna say that <laughs> that he's thought of that idea. Yeah. Because that's what he does. No. Um, just. Uh, vitamin vitamin C, vitamin D, and uh, I think it's either zinc or iron. It needs to check. Yeah, in. zinc. Zinc, vitamin yeah. C, vitamin D, and zinc, all in one tablet. Yeah, yeah. And that's probably all you need to beat off the coronavirus. I've just, uh, I've just got Nick. Nick's getting me some magnesium today. Is she? Yeah. And I've stopped taking my statins. Well, um, the statins. Why have I stopped? Stop? Yeah. I'm sick and tired of feeling fatigued all the time, you know what I mean? So I'm stop, I've am just done a bit of research on which one of my many tablets might be doing it. Right. And statin looks like the top option. So I've stopped taking them, which you can do. Um, 
see if that helps. But what statins do is they reduce your level of magnesium, which affects the muscles. So, which I should be saying in front of Alan because he knows more about muscles than any of us. Listen, I'm not one to jump on something that I know nothing about. But John, if you are in need, uh, mental gummies happen to be in stock at mentalhamster.com. Vitamin gummies, oh, real healthcare oh, vitamin. Oh, and oh, uh, oh, these are the mental boost. These complement the mental gummies. So, you know, I'm not saying they're going to stop corona, but, you know, let's be honest, they're not going to hurt. And if you really want to take the edge off it, of whatever it is you do have, there's also mental vodka, which is available at <laughs> mentalvodka.com. All of those products, John and I would love to endorse. Unfortunately, neither John or I have ever seen one, so we can't. One is on its way. I told you it's the postman. You know, I can't tell you how good the vitamins are because I've never had one. I can tell you, I can tell you they're you great. How good the vodka is because I've never drunk any. I can't tell you how good the chocolate is because I've never eaten any. Have you had any, John? Uh, no. Have you had any of the yeah. mental chocolate? I've got chocolate. I haven't got mental chocolate. Oh. No, I'm the only one I've seen of that. I didn't realise you did come. You ain't ready for that one yet. It's my crystal ball. It was getting a bit confused. Oh, you, you will be. You'll be doing a chocolate range at some point. It just so happens I've actually had a chocolatier contact me, but you will be doing a really... chocolate range. I've seen. Why? Why would I be doing that? I don't know why you do anything, do I? I just know that you're going to do it. It used to blow your mind as a kid. I would write things down in a diary, and then. And then time would go by, and then I would show you in the diary what I said was going to happen, and it would blow your mind. I don't remember that. I'd find out what I think was going to happen, and then it would happen, and then I'd say it. <laughs> I remember you telling me that I'll go to prison. Is that a sweeties? No, it's gummies. Gummies. Do you not watch any of my videos, Doug? No. Mental gummies, vitamin no. gummies. You know I don't watch any of your videos, and you know why I don't watch any of your videos. All right. Yeah, you do. Oh, no. Yeah, you do. I don't. Yeah, you do. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Oh, I'll, I'll sink in. Patient, and I told you why I don't watch any of your videos. And when I, I think you have a lot of conversations much. with yourself, and you think nope. we're having conversations with me. Nope, I told you why. <clears throat> I'm certainly not going to repeat it on here. But, see, uh, it's turning already, isn't it, Tom? This is what happens. It's terrible. Well, I see this all the time, Aaron, mate, but I'm usually I'm the target. See, I'm staying healthy. Yeah. Moving house today. It was only because you yeah. said something in one of your videos, and I, after that, I couldn't watch one, so that's all it was. It's not a lot of things in my videos. Do I post to Australia? Yes, I do. Australia happens to be my so do I, biggest yeah. fashion about. We post well, to Australia too. At the moment, I'm putting together sheets of coins. See, that's what I do. I do coins. Coin business is what I do. Fifty sheets worth there. What I sell is coins. Yeah, they were mine a little while ago, Stuart. We can do a few, a few extra people on our subscribers and uh, on our YouTube. Oh, yeah. Facebook and things like that, if anybody fancies popping over. I'm a little bit different to, uh, to my boy. Great in my chocolates. See? You'll be doing chocolate. I know it. Why would I be doing chocolate? You can't do... There's a reason why I don't do protein bars. Yeah. Because there's a lot... <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Anybody... Well, it's very, it's very easy to do know. protein bars. I could bring out a protein bar literally by the end of next week if I had a dairy company making my products, but I don't. I own the factory, I, I own the machines. So in order to, so in order to 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 make hang your on, own protein bar. Yeah, just hang on. I'll get full. Just to advertise a couple of products or something. See what I mean, John? Yeah, I know. This, 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 that's it right there. That's that's what I'm talking about. Mm. This is what I'm about to deal with. It is a very <coughs> all my life, all my life. Yeah, Dad, never guess what happened. What happened at school today? Yeah, hold that thought, son. Yeah. Back in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Don't change. No. 
for those of you that are interested, there's, there's a reason why I don't make I've, my own. I've just got, a, I've just got, hang on, I've just got, a, yeah, it's me Sainsbury shopping. I've just got to see to the man. So you advertise a few products, do a bit of church. I'm trying to, and you keep and John, interrupting me. Try and get in payhip.com forward slash Ian a couple of times and Patreon forward slash TGBCH. And the name of our YouTube. <laughs> now all of a sudden we're on your live stream we're all right actually normally online get us in a room john yeah it will escalate from zero to a hundred instantly oh yeah. it makes people feel awkward yeah i, I can't I, I did say to him like you heard from aaron and he says yeah yeah we you know he's wrong and whatever but like, oh yeah yeah there we go key word there he's wrong he'll never yeah. ring me no he ain't rung me in the last two years. Anyway, going back onto the protein bars, the reason why I don't make them myself is because you've got to do what's called a shelf life test. And there's yeah. rules and regulations because then you're going onto food. Um, supplements, powder forms, drinks is a lot different um, than food. There's a lot of red tape. So it's not really worth it. Well, it's happening through their moves. Yeah. Not yet. Your dad's <laughs> you got any more questions, John? No, on, keep, keep, keep your viewers entertained. I'm doing this for you. I've got to go in a second because I'm expecting a call. But yeah, <laughs> John's a legend. Yeah, I'll be. Yeah. No, not really, mate. Not really. I mean, this, as you can probably tell, this kind of thing really isn't my thing. Ask a question about Dad. I'll answer it. About Dad. What's his birthday? <laughs> Haven't got a clue. Ask me the last time I got him a birthday present or a card. Yeah, go on then. When was that? Don't remember. No. Yeah. I don't do presents and cards um, because I feel I have to. If I spend time with that person or I happen to be around that person at that specific time, then I get something. I've yeah. just always been like that. I don't like the feeling of being pressured. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get that. You don't. Some people that. have a book of cousins and and God knows what else and and dates and cards. Can't be bothered with that. I'm too busy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where's he gone? Is he seriously just got his same for shopping? Yeah. What is he putting it away or is he coming back? He's I ain't all day, just, you know. He's probably just taking it into the hallway. I can't believe he's putting it away. It'll be an hour or more. It wouldn't surprise me with him. He has been known to have a dodgy memory. He might forget we're here. No, you see, John, he, he has a dodgy memory when he wants to. Right. Right, when he, when he wants to. Yeah. If I had a pound for every time he said, sorry, I forgot, I'd be a millionaire. Absolutely. I forgot. Mm. Your father was in Dorchester Hospital the same day as my father. Are you back? Put yeah. your shopping away. No. Huh? Well, I've got to go in a couple of minutes. Yeah, me too. We are already uh, 20 minutes over run. It's all over me, bloody. Hello. Funny thing is, there's yeah, haters and trolls out there that accuse me of editing stuff and scripting stuff. Yeah, really? If this ain't enough proof, <laughs> I don't know what is. If you want to have a look at a couple of my videos, they tell you how to deal with bullies and how to deal with trolls and how to deal with people like that. I Very think he knows how to do that. Oh, met, one. met one yesterday. YouTube. The Great British Coin Hunt. Just uh, pop that in. You know what I mean? Payhip.com forward slash Ian. If you want to buy into the old uh, documents that we and the fight I've got with a raw mint, and uh, they're a bit X rated videos though, so you have to buy them. You, you guys should do this once a week. We can't even talk to each other once a week. That's not very nice. When was the last time you phoned me? I don't phone you. You know why I don't. When phone was the last time you phoned me? Oh, must be a year at least. I don't Two. phone you. Two years. Yeah, yeah. Probably. I don't See? phone you for one simple reason. Right? Oh, I, what's that? You, a simple reason. When was know, the last time you phoned Harry? 
parents, you'll know exactly what I mean, right? You ring them, you ring them, you ring them, and you know, you know that they, they're looking at you ringing them on the phone. You know that they're not always busy. How do you know? How do you know? Parent, right? How do you know? You know, that you know that you just know that they're going, dump, and knocking you off. Boom, and knock you off. I've got a no. I said, I'm not going to ring you anymore then. Unless you're going to pick up the phone. So now he's been ringing me, which is phenomenal, brilliant, fantastic. I love it. Love him to bits. So now I'll ring you as well. And uh, and we'll get back into the ringing each other. Oh, it just took me about 20 calls to get one back. Yeah, well, uh, all right. A lot of that's my fault. But now When was the last time you phoned Harry? Gonna, if I think that you're going to pick up... Well, he picks up the phone. You don't. When was the last time you phoned Harry? Look, we had this when I came to see... See, you. see what I mean? He says that I avoid the questions, John, but I don't forget that question. When was the last time <laughs> I phoned you phoned last Harry? Week and I was last week? You two years ago, he phoned me. Two years ago. When was the last time you phoned Calvin? Uh, oh, weeks ago. Weeks ago. So, Weak. Harry was last week. Calvin was weeks ago. Aaron? Yeah. yeah. Two years. Yeah, because Aaron doesn't... Two want years. Phone. Because Aaron doesn't pick up the bloody phone. If you Anything could have happened to me. You, you pick up the phone and Anything. you want, oh, hello, Dad. Nice to hear from you. Love you lots. That's lovely. But you don't. You just go, oh, it's Dad. Boom. Don't get a chance to because you don't phone me. Ah, uh, see, now you can put that on. Maybe I was phone. having a bad day. Maybe I thought, maybe I was having a real he bad day. I've been around, in my lowest place, right? Around. Maybe at That's that point funny. when I was at my lowest, I thought, you know what? Yeah. I, don't, I don't want to drive my Lamborghini in my bear today. I could really do with a, with a yeah. call from my dad. Do you know? Do you know that that sometimes I get like that. I could really do with a phone call from my dad. Lamborghini. Don't get it though, do I? No. But I will do my best to give you more phone calls. Maybe when I was signing that deal with the rich list, I thought I could really do with some advice from my dad right now. Yeah. Did you ring? Well, if you want advice, you should phone me like you did before. When you have a problem, you phone me. You. That's what, you. That's Harry, what Harry, last week. Calvin, a few weeks ago. That's Harry, myself. two years ago. Can you see the underlying problem, John? As an independent yeah. person here, can you see where the issue lies, John? You love Harry more than yeah, you do me. Yeah, you don't mean me, me either. And I live around you around. love Calvin more than you do me. You love the ears on the back of John's bum more than you do me. Ah, ah, ah. I'm just saying... Just yeah. saying, Calvin and Harry Hashtag get a little bit more than me. They always, they always did. Hashtag, I blame Ian. Actually, have a look at that. Do you know how many other people blame me for all sorts of things? I've been blamed for the demise of the prehistorics. I've been blamed for, well, for the demise of man, really. I mean, every problem has ever been. The Holocaust, the Jews, uh, Nazis, the war, everything. I've been blamed for a lot of it. You I know, can, I can, I can do a better that. hashtag than that. Hashtag I shoot Harry. How about that? Let's, let's let that one go trending. Hashtag shoot Harry. Hashtag shoot Calvin. That's not very nice. No. No. Because it's silly. You see, it's doing things like that. That on the one hand, but on the other hand, you see, somebody plays into that. Somebody goes out, buys a gun and actually does it, thinking they're doing it. Right. In one hand, you'll be upset. In the other hand, my profits will be up. <laughs> Why would your profits be up? <laughs> because I don't have to share. Oh, that's so naughty. <laughs> See, that's where oh, like, look at him. Look at him trying to trying to make me out to be the bad one. Like just trying to oh, what are you doing? Why would you say yeah, that? John, stuff? you read the comments because John's not getting to say anything. You yeah, all right, yeah. Aaron, you sound like a very together guy who probably doesn't need his dad's advice. It seems like you're doing very well on your own. That's right. Yep. That's it would we'll, we'll be all right though to get the odd phone call. That's what I'm saying. You can have more than the odd phone call, it's just normally you don't want it. You go months and years without phoning me. Most of the time, I get a phone call letting me know how, how, you, how well you're doing. And no, you don't. Are. No, you don't, actually. Yeah, Take do. that back, because when we speak, <laughs> what do I say? I don't want to talk about me, Dad. Because I know you're going for a bad time. I've, I've said happens. that the last few it's times. True. So take that back. True. Yeah, I will take it back. That's quite true. The last couple of times you've been quite true. You've been like that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And you was absolutely there for me when Grandad died and I was buggered and I needed transport to get battles and forwards from um, Uncle Nick's to to uh, to Grandad's house and everything. I mean, if you hadn't have done what you'd done, it would have been extremely difficult for me. So I'm very grateful for that. You know? see, see, he does this as well. Turns it round. And at the same as time, a go, as a dig, now, then turns it round that he's that, you, that he's giving you compliments. This is what he does. 
Whilst whilst I can because I couldn't talk a little while ago, I got a bit upset. But whilst I can talk and we're on the subject, you know, the idea of the belt and everything else, I did do that. Totally ashamed of it. Was ashamed of it very quickly afterwards and have been every single day of my life since. And I just want to make that point. I love him to bits. That's what I did was very cool. No parent should ever treat their kids that way. What are you want about hitting me with a belt? I didn't class yeah. that as it. You're like a girl, to be honest. Yeah, I know. But anyway, so, uh, what was you talking about? I, I remember saying to myself at the time, <laughs> is that it? Is that all you got? Yeah. You've always been a bit that way. This is quite true. He won't know that for a long time to come. Do you know what? Actually, talking about Grandad, bless yeah. him. I mean, you were just in the in the other room. Actually, I think you just went to have a cup of tea. But yeah, uh, because you know he was going in and out, waking up yeah. and going back to sleep. He actually said, um, when when you went in the other room, Aaron, if you ever um, end up bringing out an energy drink, I really do hope you sell out. He said that. Yeah. And he said, make sure that you tell everybody. Um, everybody that you can to go yeah. to mentalhamster.com to buy it. Yes. So it's just as you're mentioning, Grandad, I think it's only right. And before anybody starts saying, Aaron, that's bad, my granddad yeah. wore a Mental Hamster t shirt. Yeah. You know, he, he, he was dying that. and he made sure he did, didn't Aaron, he? Because Aunt Sally Aaron, told me that he wanted it on. Aaron. What? You need to move to your right by about an inch because no one could see you. That's better. He was off. He was completely off camera then. Granddad was very supportive of the business. Yeah. He even wore a t-shirt. What happened to the day died? Yeah, right up to his last moment, till them last words ebbed out of his body, and his last breath ebbed out of his body. He was telling you to. I really hope everybody buys mental energy drink from mentalhamster.com. Yeah. Yeah. No different to. Uh, and he did say, because he coughed, yeah. he said, um, if you happen to have mental gummies in stock as well, yeah. I really hope you sell out of them too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to remember him saying those as his last words, as his, just as his, his, he was ebbing away and life was caving in. Yeah, yeah something like that. I used to probably think we're out of order. If Grandad was alive now, he'd actually be laughing. He would yeah, understood. if Grandad was alive now, he'd call you a few choice names. But <laughs> There's no doubt about that. <sighs> right, I've got to go. I've got things yeah, to do. So, yeah, me too. So it's been nice. It's been eventful. Anybody that's uh, following Aaron, part of his stream, remember, hello Ali, remember um, that with there, uh, EMP Lambert, that's me, I'm his dad. So come and join my page. I've got a page, the Great British Coin Hunt, on Facebook. There's about 20,000 people on that one. And uh, come and join us on there. And um, and like and share our posts. And come and join us on YouTube, Great British Coin Hunt. And uh, come and say hello. My uh, pay hip is www.payhip.com forward slash Ian. And Patreon, patreon.com forward slash TGBCH. If you want it. Anything help. else? Bye. My fine. He's made well, up. I'm off it? then, guys. I'm off. Right, we're off. Right, nice Thanks very much. See you later. Take it Thanks so much, everybody. Thank you. Love you lots, son. Love you bundles. Bye for now. Step outside and seize the day now Set aside your worries, it's okay now The sun is here to stay